Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Shaman King episode number 20. Okay, the previous episode, um, a few things happened. The first of all, the tournament started. Uh, we are in one of the matches. But before that, uh, another thing happened that is forced to join our team. Uh, because Anna, Anna thought, not thought, but she was confident that she would be able to really boost his power up because of her affinity with spirits, like, you know. So, like, that's why Faust is perfect for that. And he, he joined our team. So, that's what happened. Another thing that happened was Lysert. It's probably, like, you know, uh, like, you know, like, the guy, uh, the leader, not the leader, but one of the guys from the X-Laws. He we saw them interacting and it seems as if he is kind of like telling him i don't know to you know go and like what can i say like you know like their main goal is to uh destroy how and um i don't know like i maybe like i maybe i'm looking into it too much but it i feel like it's going to be like he he's going to kind of uh make him join their cause and like you know like obviously they won't be at conflict with uh yo but uh yo like yo's main uh what do you call it like the way he looks at things is very different from the x law so that's why they will probably be in kind of a conflict if uh Lysak really decides to go along with uh the x laws so i don't know like you know like uh or i might be thinking too much into this maybe he will just you know be, be more motivated at defeating how like that might be it like that's another thing and also the uh tournament started we saw the con con uh, you know the com the people who are we, we are with fighting with um what was his name i forgot the name of the guy was out there and there's this another guy i can't remember his name you know like they're fighting and we saw choco loves power his over soul and it's kind of different from the others in a way but it's very strong and he completely defeated boss in a matter of seconds but the other guy the other guys have, has, have some tricks up his sleeves and he is most probably controlling boss so let's see what happens how he like you know takes care of the situation i'm not that much worried because Re, uh, like, you know ren and horohoro are there so yeah so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 20 of shaman king so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Sama. Carlos and Joe. Whoa. Ma Whoa. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, I thought the bows were actually spirits. Oh, that's. Okay, so uh, the spirits are actually uh, not controlling, yeah, but possessing. I think the bows. All right, like I, I was kind of confused at the, at the start. I was like, he was, he said that like you know they did music or something, said something like that. I thought the bows were actually spirits. Then I realized that no, he's talking about the his uh, like, you know his guardian spirits. So, okay. I'm still not so sure about what his actual power is. I'm guessing we're going to see it after this. So he, so he basically takes control of other people. So his, there must be some other restrictions because he could have just taken control of, um, you know, Chokolov. That would have been easier, I think. Chokolov or uh, Ren or Hororo. So I'm guessing there are some restrictions. Who knows?
All right. So no, no, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, they're dead. I realize that now. Oh my god. I, I realized that a little bit late. The bows are not alive. That was a late reaction for me. Oh no. Symbols of death. Day of the death. Oh, it's kind of like Obon, isn't it? Okay. Link life and death. Obon says it's medium. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Oh, boy. I realized that a little bit late, but I can understand what's happening now. The dreams are the Oh no. Great. <laughs> yeah, let's see. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ren and Horohora has not even started. Like. Oh. No, he is hesitating, you know. Oh, no. Oh no! Grandpa. 1990. Oh, is this a flashback? Wait, is that chocolate? Whoa! Oh, Shaft was the name of the... Oh my god, he was like a gang leader. Christmas nine years ago. Wait, how old is he? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, most probably that's why he really hates Christmas. And Whoa! What the? Who is this? What? Ha! <laughs> uh, a pun. Oh! Is this where he gets his pun making abilities? 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh boy, he pulls out a gun. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, whoa, damn. Oh boy, nah. Ah oh boy, he's a... Whoa, Daddy! Damn, look at him. Who is this guy? Oh, we can see the spirit. He has it with him. Does he transfer it to Chocolate later on or something? Well, there you go, you're laughing. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that. Uh. What? Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he can see it. Oh, was he finding, trying to find some kind of success? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well. Calavera dolls. <laughs> Again with the puns. All right, the shaman brain. Mad or not? <laughs> mad or not? <laughs> hmm. What happened to his gang, uh, the members that he had? Oh, no. Oh. Huh. I'm f having a bad feeling about this. Usually bad stuff happens in these type of situations. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, no. I was thinking where they were. God. God. Oh no. Yeah, he doesn't even have his shaman powers now, so. 
No, he. It's with. Yeah. Oh God. Oh no. God. What? Come on. Oh. Yeah, but in this situation, yeah, with an incurable disease, what? Oh, was that real? Wearing out their bodies and with the shaman. Come on. Oh, he, yeah, okay, he still don't, doesn't know the oversoul, okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, yeah. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Burn them with laughter? Wait, is he really going to defeat him single handedly? Okay. Whoa. Oh, uh, wow. what happened? The navel of the world. Wait, what? No, no, what, what? What happened? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I knew that, but... Still, it was laughter. Oh. 
What? Um. Wait. Oh no! They are. They are. <laughs> they are <I'm> dead. <laughs> Oh. Oh, they're all here. Oh, I did not expect that. All right. <laughs> All right, finishing blow. Yeah, <laughs> you messed with the wrong person. <laughs> like at the moment we saw that Horo Horo and yeah, like Horo Horo and Ren did nothing. I knew it from that moment that he would lose. Like, like yeah. Yeah, oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Immensely. Oh. Hold on, I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, neither did Ren. Ren did the, give the finishing blow, but like Chocolat was the main person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's here. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh boy. Uh <laughs> Yeah, his power level. <laughs> hmm. I'm sh I'm I'm sure like you also has something up his sleeve. What? Oh my god, it's the exhaust. Oh my god. I, I was just saying this in the beginning of the episode, like... But... Um... Like, the only thing that's... What can I say? 
that's good is that he's not actually um antagonistic towards yo the only person that he and the exos are going to go for is how so and i doubt they are strong enough to actually stop how i'm not sure about the x laws but lyserg is definitely not strong enough to stop how i at least think so i don't know like we still don't have any idea about the power level after the little like you know small little time skip that we had like we see that ren has like you know gotten too strong so and i can also feel like yo has also gotten a, a lot of stronger so who knows maybe lyserg also became strong and we will have to wait for it so that's one good thing you know like it's basically that how is in the middle yo and his team is fighting him in a certain way and the x laws are fighting him in another certain way and yo basically doesn't like that x laws but they're not antagonistic towards each other that's basically the actual what's happening in its entirety so so in a way uh, how is basically like if you look at the quantity how is in a disadvantage but i'm sure how is a lot more stronger than all the other people here so yeah okay so this episode here okay first of all i need to check one thing out at the beginning i wasn't able to properly catch that okay um bowls He's using the uh, bodies of boss as his medium. Okay, their aggression is what got them killed. Riddles with lead by their own customers. We have our own reasons. My spirit allies, Carlo. Wait, wait what? Oh, it went too quickly. Just a sec. Carlos and Juan. They're my friends. They're mariachis of. Uh, very famous in Mexico. So we can see the uh, spirits. Yeah, we can see them. Okay, they hit him. It was their combative nature, not their music, that made them famous. Okay, I'm a little bit confused here. Okay, I I'm going to talk about what I'm confused. He's using his bodies, using the bodies of balls as his medium. Their aggression is what them got them killed. Riddles with lead by their own customers. Stop belittling our manly story here. Hey. There's a big difference between manliness and stupidity. Okay. The thing that I'm really confused about. I still am unable to understand what was like, you know, what he was trying to say. The thing that I'm confused about is who is he talking about that the people, like, you know, the, the two of them who got, uh, like, you know, killed by their own customers. Is he talking about his spirits or is he talking about the boss? Like here he says, my spirit allies, Carlos and Juan, they're my friends, they're Maria, Mariachis, very famous in Mexico. It was a combat. Oh, okay. So he's talking about the spirits, Carlos and Juan, isn't it? So that means the balls are not dead. Like I'm kind of confused. Let me know in the comment section, you know, because this like, this section is really confusing because both balls balls also do does music, and I'm guessing the spirits also did music. So I'm really unable to understand who he's talking about. Is he talking about the balls or is he talking about his spirits? Like. Like in the beginning, I thought he was talking about his spirits, but in uh, in in the middle, I thought that is he actually talking about the boss? That uh, you know, like the boss are actually the people who are dead, and he is using them. Then again, after I'm rewatching this section again, I'm feeling as if no, he's not talking about the boss. He's talking about his spirits, Carlos and Juan. So that must be it. I think so. I don't know like please let me know in the comment section like who is he actually talking about okay uh i'm feeling like you know after watching the, the rewatching this section i'm feeling like he's really talking about the spirits he's not talking about the balls so the balls are alive 
like it was kind of confusing like i was really confused i thought that is he talking about the boss like they are actually they like it would have been a big twist if it if he was actually talking about the boss you know like they have always been dead and like you know now he is using his guardian spirits to control them and uh, like you know like all the time before we saw them they were also dead at that moment basically he was actually in the background controlling them or something like that if, if it was something like that it would have been a big twist but i don't think that's it he, he's, he's talking about his spirits not about the the bows so all right if i'm wrong please correct me all right so uh that was that and then in the next scene we get to know more about um the, okay what was the uh, name of the just a sec the calavera dolls um skeletons of mexico symbols of death uh in mexico they celebrate the day of the dead once a year the dead returns to the world the villagers celebrate by playing with the ghosts for mexicans the dead are friendly and cheerful on the day calavera dolls decorate the village and play an important role uh, they are the symbols that link life and death. Okay, um, so, all right, so it kind of like I'm guessing it's kind of similar to Obon, you know, in, in Japanese uh, uh, Obon festival, where you know, like uh, it's also kind of the same where your ancestors, you know, people who have passed on, uh, they visit, uh, you know, back, uh, you know, uh, I'm not so sure about it. You know the only information i have is from what i have gathered from anime like you know anime has the obon festival and we've seen a lot of them so all that i can gather from that is like they come into the mortal realm you know kind of uh is there for a few i'm not sure if it's a few days or a few moments and then they i think they go back and i think they also make little um you know uh little rites uh with an eggplant and i think there's another thing that they use i can't remember like one is for them to actually come to the, uh, the modern realm and then th there's another uh, like, you know little rite that they make of uh, some vegetable which they use to go back something like that i think as far as i can remember so uh, this kind of reminded me of that and uh, yeah anyways okay so here <clears throat> The guy now from the beginning i was saying like this guy has had lost because i i knew it like i knew that like as soon as i saw that uh, ren and horohoro are not doing anything <laughs> you know i knew it that this guy is screwed like there's no way he's going to win because he's basically fighting three versus one still he's struggling with that so why the hell did he even think that he would be able to win this match he was so confident he was so cocky like i don't know <laughs> but yeah anyways um here we see uh chocolate's backstory where he his backstory is very sad as we can see that he had a very rough childhood where his uh, family i'm guessing they were killed by some robber or something and uh you know in christmas and that's why he started hating christmas and started doing these type of stuff and uh, the the scar he got from i'm uh, like you know like uh, as we saw the scar is the scar that he got from uh when i'm guessing the uh, robber attacked them or the not robber say the burglar and uh <clears throat> yeah so he meets an old man who he starts calling grandfather later on grandpa or gg as the, you know <laughs> and uh, so he was the active like you know the original owner of not owner but the partner of um mike mick sorry i think that's how his name is pronounced yeah mick uh, original uh, not owner sorry partner and <clears throat> he <coughs> he was looking for a successor and since Chocolate was able to see Mick, he transferred it to him. So I'm guessing, like, I think this is the first time we see that someone actually transfers the spirit to someone else. Like, I never knew that this could be done. So I think this is the first time we are seeing something like this. So, okay. And 
he teaches him a lot of things chocolate about the like wind that laughter brings it clears out all the bad stuff in our hearts and now at the beginning when like you know like obviously that scene was screaming that something bad is going to happen like you know like chocolate is walking all alone at night and there's this weird type of a thing like usually bad stuff ha happens in these type of situations and yeah like i was not wrong like the gang members I, I knew it like i knew like something was going to happen they're going to do something because they basically did not show us anything about them after chocolate of starting living his own life and as they say like you know when you get into do bad stuff your past really haunts you and really chases you to the end till the end of the earth you cannot really wash your hands off of the bad stuff that you have done so these people obviously they came looking for him and his grandfather like you know seeing him as an easy target they beat him up and now here is the portion where i started like you know when like uh, the grandpa said that you should not give in to your anger um like as chocolate was saying i was also of the similar opinion to him he said something like uh, but there is a time and place for everything he said something along these lines you know like when the grandpa uh, uh, father said that don't give in to your anger now i was also the same impression i was like okay like definitely you should like you know like do not should not let anger cloud your judgment and stuff but the like now what's happening here is it's not something that you should like you know uh, let happen like they're basically pointing a gun at him so like i was a little bit kind of like you know a little what can i say not happy with that situation but as far as i could understand uh, the thing that the grandfather said to him is that um, i'm i'm guessing the spirit that he has the jaguar spirit uh, okay where is it here it is he says something like just like hmm. Okay, uh, Chocolat, the Jagger is the most powerful and noble beast. Like the shaman, it sees all and knows the truth. <clears throat> okay, uh, okay, here it is. At that time, your soul was full of rage. The winds of laughter blew that away. You can do it. Be one with mixed spirit, become the noble Jaguar. Okay, so I think uh, why the grandfather actually said that is I'm guessing if make uh, if Chocolat actually became angry at that moment and started like you know made anger cloud his judgment and like you know control him, he would have probably never been able to uh, un unlock the oversoul that he was able to do. I think that was the main reason why like you know the grandfather said that do not let anger cloud your judgment let the uh, wind of laughter blow everything bad away from your heart i'm guessing that was the reason because I i'm sure like you know he could have gotten angry at that moment and he could have got used mixed power to actually defeat every one of them but i'm guessing after that you know he probably wouldn't have been able to uh, unleash his full potential with mick and he would have lost his opportunity to become a proper shaman you know because like as he said like you know the jaguar is a noble beast he looks at everything so i'm i'm sure like you know mick probably wouldn't uh, you know help him or become a partner with him if he actually witnessed chocolate giving in to his rage i think that was the reason most probably because like he killed him you know they killed him uh, and uh, the, the the old guy and he like you know at that moment uh mick uh, not mick sorry uh chocolate he actually realized the mean actual meaning of the true meaning of his grandfather's teachings and he started laughing you know like even at his death like, you know he he stayed true to his convictions the old man <clears throat> Okay, and then uh, he unlocked his unleashed his oversoul, and they did not show what happened after that. I'm sure 
you know like he never he did not do anything like you know like he did not hurt them or do something to them i'm sure he made them laugh or did something to actually change their mind and that's how you know now uh, in the tournament we can see those people are here with him you know and they're cheering for him because they have been conquered with laughter with um uh, you know with non violence yeah with peace they have been conquered with that and i think that was what like you know the chocolate's main uh what do you call it uh the essence the main essence of his over soul is is not hurt others and um like you know conquer them with laughter blow away the wind uh the bad winds with the laughter uh yeah you know uh blow away the bad things with the uh, wind of laughter because here um <laughs> when he unleashes his over soul i thought he was probably going to punch him or do something but no he he basically <laughs> basically did an impression of ias rock and like you know his belly button <laughs> and the little kangaroo that he made it actually made the spirits laugh but uh, you know the the guy main guy i think his name is peote or something like that and he did not laugh like he he kind of laughed you know but he did not completely laugh he was like yeah this won't actually defeat me but the spirits <laughs> the spirits uh, like they were they started laughing <coughs> and and he was confused like pick P- P- out i think that okay uh he was confused that he was saying like why is this happening I, like i'm controlling them but according to uh chocolate like the souls are being possessed by evil so they freed that and like then we see the the flashback where he's standing in front of the grandfather's grave and all the other people were also there his friends now this really shows that i'm guessing like they also learned uh the lesson and in a way this really shows that violence you know like if you like if he actually beat them up and taught them a lesson for killing his grandfather they wouldn't have learned anything most probably they would have probably hold a held a grudge against him and again later try to mess with him or mess with something that he loved so like what actually happened here is like they were able to understand their their mistakes and you know they were able to uh you know change their ways mend their ways but i think this is only applicable to people who actually have something some even a little bit of conscience there are genuine evil people in this world and i don't think chocolate would be effective for them the way chocolate does his thing like i don't know like pure evil like if he actually comes across pure evil i'm really curious as to what he's going to do then like you know like i'm really interested in this because the way he actually fights is very unique and interesting but it's kind of limited it has a limited scope so if he actually comes in front of pure evil that is really evil you know he won't be able to like, conquer them with laughter because i don't think so so i'm quite curious as to what's going to happen then i'm most probably like you know i'm i'm thinking like you know most probably his friends will take over for him then you know like ren is there horo horo is there uh, yo is there so if if they stay together you know i'm i'm guessing they're going to take control of that situation then and help him out so yeah now similar thing happened here as well like you know he like the dolls also started laughing <laughs> and that's why his connection went out and uh like unfortunately uh chocolate used up all his uh over soul power furyoku but uh he like you know like the other two was were there they were they they, they would have taken uh, like you know they would have helped him if he really were in some kind of trouble so seeing this situation ren came up and destroyed him completely one shot at him <laughs> and <clears throat> like you know like the main obviously the main uh, all the credit goes to chocolate because he's the one who defeated them 
and uh, Ren basically like you know give the finishing blow and I doubt the guy like you know who was controlling them he would have been able to do anything after that because his main power was like controlling them so what would he have even done after that so you no know, that's it like <clears throat> yeah and uh, then we actually get get to see what how much of a okay what, what one second how much of a beast ren has become <laughs> All right one thing here they show after like you know uh, okay where is that section all right this kind of what can i say uh proves the conf well, not proves but clears the confusion that i had in the beginning after this we see the boss like you know sitting up so it was not the boss that he was talking about he was talking about um his spirits uh, like you know the people who actually died like that really confused me in the beginning i was like who is the one who is actually dead is it the boss or is it the spirit that he's talking about i was still confused up until now but here after this uh, after this scene that i am noticing now that one of the boss is actually sitting up so that means they are not dead you know it was the spirits that he was actually talking about but yeah that kind of clears that Okay, and then, <laughs> like, you know, we see Ren, the actual beast that Ren has become, he, become the power that he has gained, and um, how kind of answers the question, how he was able to gain so much power because of the blessing of the Great Spirit, and, like, you know, he was able to uh, absorb all of that, and that kind of unlocked his true potential. I'm sure most probably the similar thing happened to Yo as well, I'm not so sure but i think so at least because he seems pretty calm and cool and uh, you know because uh <laughs> when yeah. anna says that he declared war on you he was like no no need to worry i'll you know when it, when that situation comes i'll handle it and i'm sure that that shows like you know he himself has become pretty strong as well and <laughs> i'm looking forward to that and uh, we are like you also see this family like Ren's family is also here like it really <laughs> like uh, like this the same family that he was actually fighting with a few episodes ago like you know they were like each at each other's throats and now look at them they are <laughs> cheering for him in, in the spectator seat uh, like you know his sister uh, his dad and all and <laughs> <laughs> like you know it reminds me of uh, us of that uh, scene where usually in animals we see like there's like a little kid who goes to the sports festival or something and like parents actually come and uh, like you know cheer for them and then there's like some uh, like you know over enthusiastic parents who like start shouting and cheering for their child so much like they have all everything ready with the recorder and all like you know the camera they're all ready for it and they start cheering loudly and all <laughs> and the child is embarrassed they're like what the hell are you doing mom and dad <laughs> it's the same scene here uh, unfortunately they don't have a camera i think <laughs> if they had i think they would have pulled that out and started recording or something <laughs> i don't know <laughs> oh boy okay that and then uh the, the next scene um Lyserk, uh, he and the ex laws he, I don't know, like, what, like, what he's going to do, but thankfully, like, he's not at direct conflict with Yo, he's, at, you know, direct, he and the ex laws are at direct conflict with Hao, so, let's wait and see what they do, and, uh, all right, that was it, I think, is there anything else? no so yeah that was it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to shaman king episode number 20 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day